We are coming at you live, KSL Sports, my good kind Garrett Thompson here, live from UVU on a kind of a rainy day here, GT, isn't it? <laughs> Garrett Thompson, am I right? Yes, sir. And, Mike, uh, we had a pretty nice weekend of perfect sunny and 75 degree weather, but uh, yeah, chilly in the high 50s, got some rain, but uh, rain or shine, we're playing ball. Yeah, today we got Murray and um, we got Maple Mountain uh, game one here starting at 11 a.m. An early start here from Orem, Utah. And uh, honestly, not the day we expected, GT, after a beautiful weekend. Though. Yeah, no, not at all. Your first game of 5A bracket play here. Okay, we are all set to go here from Orem, Utah. As Reese is up to the plate, and we're all set to go here. And Jacob Reese up to the plate for Murray here. And the first pitch, out a little high. So a 1-0 count. And the 1-0. And make it 2-0. And on the hill is Chase Johnson for Maple Mountain. And there's a strike. And he deals, and he got him. So it's a 3-2. We got a full count here. And the payoff. He rips that one in the right. And that'll fall for a base hit. Reese rounding first, headed for second. And he slides it easily. And what a way to start here for the Spartans. Runner on second as Reese. Beautiful base hit to right field. Yeah. Great hit. Starting the game off strong with a double. And here's Kaysen Blecker up to the plate. And he will check on the runner there at second. Johnston, rocky start, obviously, but redemption time here. And that one ripped to second. Should be an easy play. And, yeah, there's a ground first out. out of the inning. Ground out, but Reese advances to third. One down here on the inning so far. Wonder how the weather's going to affect things for these players. I'm assuming they've been playing in uh, some relatively nice weather for at least the latter, latter part of their season. You hope so. A.J. Thomas there at second. A little routine play. So one down here, and the first pitch is a strike. Cooper Wilson at the plate for Murray. Oh, he rips that one to left. That'll drop for a base hit. And Reese will come in to score. Got a one nothing game here. And the Spartans on top. They strike first. Murray starting off strong here. RBI only one down so far at the top of the first. And we got Easton Floyd with the plate fouls down back. Johnson got to be a little frustrated here. Runner on first. See if he can get them out of this inning. And that one ripped to right. That could drop. It's going to go foul. Could have been trouble. So an early 0-2 count. 
First three batters here for Murray making great contact with the ball. Johnston, first 0-2 of the day. It's a 1-2, a little high. You know, I think this is where you see GT. Uh, it's really tests a pitcher, right? You know, early in a game, playoff game, bracket play. How do you respond? That one fell. Yeah, no, absolutely. And um, he's thrown a couple good pitches so far. Johnston, the one, two. That one fouled again. Staying alive here. Chase Johnson looking to retire number 13, Easton Floyd. But making good contact. And another foul ball. Staying alive here. Johnston, again, he, he, this is a situation here. You got a one, two, runner on first. And I think he just wants something in play here. Ab know? Absolutely. Or a strikeout. You'll take it. Runner on first. Definitely wants a strikeout here, but a chance for a uh, double play if he uh, grounds out. Johnston deals. Oh, go. he got him swinging. He got him swinging, GT. That's a first strikeout of the game for Johnston. And that'll bring up Sam Brousseau up to the plate. Sam is the designated hitter for the Murray Spartans. So you got two outs here. And a runner on first. And Murray again. Just coming up with one run here. If you're, if you're, if you're Maple, you got to be happy with just a 1-0 start. Absolutely. He's got him swinging. Strike one there for Sam Brousseau. Big hitter. Brousseau Ooh. swinging a bit. So another first, again, second batter in a row. You got an 0-2 count here. Yeah, I mean, tough, uh, kind, of a tough sp kind of a tough start for Johnson, but... Uh, just threw two great fastballs. Got him swinging. And Brousseau fouls that one back. Sam Brousseau, a junior. He's 6'8". Guy's 255. Was this Aaron Judge of the flip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little hot. Johnston, looking to deal here. One, two. And that one ripped to third. Should be a routine play. And he throws it on a first. It was a nice play. From third baseman, Hyatt Hayden. That'll do it for the inning. Uh, one stranded and just one run as Murray up one nothing. We're going to take a break here. We'll be back. Top of the second up after this. And we're back here on the broadcast. Bottom of the second inning here. Murray leading 1-0. And on the hill. Junior number one, A.J. Thomas. And he deals a strike. Sad. And it, I would load away. Got number 22, Diego Carrillo at the mound. Carrillo deals. All alone and away. And make it a 3-1 here. Two pitches in a row there for Carrillo, throw in bottom right. Just outside the box. And 
And he walked him. The 3 2, full count walked him. Thomas will take first. And a good way to start here for Maple Mountain. Yeah, you got a runner on first, no outs, and you'll take it. Dugout is hyped up over there, Mike. They are, they are into it. You got an amped up dugout. Both teams, yeah. Looking like Minnesota last night. See <laughs> Wolves over here. Oh man, glad I didn't have money on that game because uh, could have could have been could have been close. But, yeah, uh, it could have been know. tough. Yeah. And up to the plate now is Max Walker, and he deals a strike. Carrillo from the stretch. And it's a little high. Again, GT, a, a damp day here in Orem, Utah. Tomorrow, beautiful skies, 60 degrees, should be. But uh, today, I'm even looking up in the, in the horizon there, and the, the mountains getting snowy. That one fell back. Got some snow in the mountains here in May. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got some... Uh we had some snow uh, earlier this month. I was luckily out of town in sunny Southern California, but uh, talked to my dad this morning, who's down there, and uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they're uh, having some uh, some nice weather at the moment. Kind of cloudy and in the 50s, like it is here right now. Not ideal. Now a little high. Max Walker batting pretty well on the season. 305, 20 RBIs. And the 2-2. Carrillo, oh. Why not look over there? Check it on his man at first, Thomas. And he runs right back. And that one, that's, that's definitely high. Thomas will easily take second. And first wild pitch of the game from Carrillo. Carrillo throwing a little out and a little high so far. Bottom of the first. It was, it was a really tough play there. Uh, for the catcher, Jacob Reese. Just, and he walked him. So first two ABs, and we got two walks. And Carrillo, now we got Walker and Thomas on first and second. And that'll bring up to the plate Chrisman here, number 12. Cy Chrisman, same, same name as the uh, legend Cy Young. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sir. Appreciate it here. And runners on first and second. So far, pretty offensive game for both teams. No outs here. And Korea will check on Thomas at second. And that's a little high. So first pitch of the A-B is going to be a 1-0. we got Lino Healy at first and Jameson Vigil at second for the Murray Spartans. Vigil staying close there to second. Maintaining Thomas at the bag. And it looks like Reese is going to have a conversation with Carrillo on the mound. See what's going on here. You know, you got to wonder... Again, he, such such a great top first of that inning. Again, you, you were hoping for more than just one run, but uh, come back here and I got a runner in scoring. It's got to be frustrating. Yeah, Diego, you know, 6'4", senior on the mound. Um, thrown pretty fast, but a little high here. At least his past, you know, seven, eight pitches. So, And that was in there for a strike. There we go. I'll take it. Good adjustment coming out of the... Uh, conversation there
Full off speed on that one, too. And the 2 1. That's high. So it should be a 3 1. And again, first two ABs of the inning have been walks. And our man, Cy Christian, doing a great job behind the dish here. And there's a swing and a miss. So that'll be a full count. Full count here. Runners on first and second for Maple Mountain. Carrillo definitely looking to strike him out here. Get some momentum going here. Maybe a ball and first. play, though. Get a, you know, your first out of the inning. Uh, or first two. We appreciate you joining us here from Orem, Utah. My good guy, Garrett Thompson. We appreciated you tuning in with us all basketball season as well. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Absol great season. <laughs> Absolutely. No, we had, a, we had a ton of fun. Covered some really good regular season conference games and some playoff games. And Carrillo walks him. That's tough, GT. You're Wait. looking at bases loaded, no outs. And Cy Christian will head back out to the hill to have a conversation. Uh, it looks like they are they going to make a, pick, a pitching change here is the question. Tough start for Diego Carrillo, but um, postseason baseball, a lot of stress. Um, not easy to come out here and, and uh, you know, light it up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, head coach Marsh Wilson coming out and having a chat on the mound. See what kind of adjustments the Spartans make here after that quick timeout. Yeah, bases loaded, no outs. And again, a strong start for Murray. Um, one run scored at the top of the first, but, um, you know, a couple really good hits. Got the momentum going, but uh, it is all Maple Mountain here at the bottom of the first. And yeah, bring her stuff to the up to, up to the plate. First pitch of ball. Got to be frustrating here. If you are Diego Carrillo. Bases juiced. one nothing game. Can Maple Mountain strike here? And second pitch, also a ball. Carrillo. This is a tough inning for him. Absolutely. Logan Bringhurst, a senior. And there's a curveball inside. He got him. It's a strike. Yeah, we're, we're seeing Carrillo switch up what pitches he's throwing, right? I, he, he's not being uber consistent, which you like to see. As that one's inside, that'll be a strike. He's got a very nice curve. We don't have a pitch track or anything, so this is just GT and I based off of eyes. And that one popped up. And there you go. An easy out for Carrillo. As 23 pitches into this game, he gets his first batter. And that'll bring up... Lacing up to the plate, number 13. Sawyer Lacing has a first, first pitch strike to Lacing. And the 0-1, that is a little high. We're kind of seeing a little more of a rhythm, though, here for Diego Carrillo. 25 pitches into this game. You know, you're first inning, one out. And that's a low and away. 
And base is still loaded here for the Golden Eagles. Can a Golden Eagle strike here? Sawyer Lafson. Rowe rips that one up the middle. Oh, and it, and it hits right in the center field. That'll bring in one run. And another will score a two-run double uh, base hit for Sawyer Lafson. Comes in the clutch here in the first inning. Two RBIs, two RBIs there for Lafson. Walker and Thomas easily scored two. Absolutely right down the middle. Went right past second baseman in the shortstop there. It's a great first inning for Murray again offensively. I think they were looking to get more than just one run on the board, but no, other, Maple Mountain strikes right back, and the Spartans down 2-1 here, about one. And Catter sent up to the plate. He shows bunt and pulls back there. Carrillo's arm's got to be a little tired here. He's 28 pitches in. Catterson, another veteran for this Maple Mountain squad. Senior catcher and third baseman. Also hitting pretty well on the season. Carrillo. And it's a little high. So a 3 0. Another tough AB for Carrillo here. This one you can assume is going to be right down the pipe for Catterson. And he walked him. So the bases are juiced again. Chrisman moves to third. Lafson moves to second. And what a spot here. <laughs> you got to be licking your chops right now, GT. Absolutely. And uh, this, this Maple Mountain squad has been hot pretty much all season. 12-2 uh, and two in their region, 21-4 and four on the season. Number eight in the state of Utah. And they are showing why they are number eight. Bottom of the first inning here. And Erickson heads to first as a pinch runner. Got Johnston the pitcher up. And Johnston, you got to like this position you're in here as the first pitch is a strike. But you got to like this position here. You got a bases loaded, one down. And again, two runs already in this inning. Got a lot of momentum here. Absolutely. Oh, and he rips that one. Will that stay fair? It could be trouble. No, it's foul. Yeah, Johnston's got a real opportunity here to advance. You know, a runner, maybe a couple runners, like Leifson did. And that one is a little outside. Carrillo. Spartan fans are not happy with the ump on that call. Thought it was a strike. Ump says no, a little outside. Carrillo the payoff. Yeah, there's a ball. High again for Carrillo. Again, conditions have got to bother these guys, especially as you get later into this game, GT. Uh, they will talk to Carrillo again as Skipper heads out. They will have another conversation. Are they bringing in? It looks like Carrillo will hand it over. Bringing in a new man from the bullpen. Yes, they are, GT. It is Hyatt Hayden. In the game. Going to be number two, Jamison Vigil. Oh. Jamison Vigil to the game. So Jamison Vigil will head into this game. He's inheriting a tough situation here. Again, bases are going to be loaded. Can Vigil get him out of the inning? Vigil, 5'11", senior. It's a righty. Uh, he's an ERA of 4-2 on the season. So the senior 
We'll take over a bases loaded situation when we come back. Just one down here in the bottom of the first inning here from Utah Valley as bracket play is off and underway. We'll be back. <laughs> and we're back here from Utah Valley University. Playoff baseball here, 5A. And Jamison Vigil on the hill for Murray. The Spartans in a hole here. We got the bases loaded. And up to the plate, it's Chase Johnston. Jamison Vigil pitched two innings and struck out four batters during his last game pitching against their big win, during their big win against Kearns. Won that game 9-0. And he strikes out Johnston there. So Johnston goes down swinging. And that'll be the second out of the inning. Johnston got to be, uh, you know, kind of frustrated. He had the bases loaded there. Good situation. But uh, Vigil, again, calmly, a one-pitch A-B, takes care of business. Here is the first pitch. And there's a strike. So Vigil off to a good start. Two pitches, two strikes. Bennett Averett up to bat here. Pitch just a tad inside, but it's another strike here for Vigil. 0-2 count. And another great opportunity here for the right-handed pitcher. And that one is a little outside. Gonna be the first ball thrown of the game for Vigil. 1-2 count here. Averett up to the mount, up to the plate. Chops that one to third. And an easy play. Oh, no. Went foul. Wow. I'm not sure about that one, G2. Yeah, I initially thought it was in play, but, um, yeah, ruled a, ruled a foul ball there. So, Averitt will come back to the plate. E Easton Floyd, an easy play to just step on, step on the bag <laughs> and the inning. Absolutely. Uh, Easton Floyd there at the hot corner. And the one-two. He rips that one to first. Oh, and he will get to first, which will score a run. As it was off of the glove. A first baseman. Tough error there. Cy, for Cy Christian. Tough error there for the Spartans. Had an opportunity to close out this inning. But that'll be another run scored for Maple Mountain. Off the glove of Lino Healy, check that. So, he'll score another run. Be a 3-1 lead for Maple Mountain. And we got number 11 up at the plate, Colby Warren, another senior. Utility guy for the Golden Eagles. Also bad, also batting pretty well on the season. Colby Warren in the nice spot. And the first pitch from Vigil. Second pick from Vigil is the ball. So it's going to be a 2-0. Vigil drops that one in there for a strike. Another tough situation here with the bases loaded for the Murray Spartans. And he rips that one in his center field. And a routine fly ball. Can of corn. And that'll do it for the inning as Vigil gets him out of trouble. And an easy routine play for Bodie Gladhart there in center field. That'll do it for the inning. Three men left on. Three runs scored, and an action-packed one here from UBU. We'll be back here as the top of the second is up after the break. We're back here live from UVU, and Carrillo steps up to the plate as his team in a 3-1 hole. 
Murray, Murray needs some runs here. First pitch. That one. Low and inside. Number 17, Chase Johnston back on the mound for Maple Mountain here. And Johnston pops that one up. Routine infield play. And an easy one. For number 13, Leifson, uh, Sawyer Leifson. As that'll be the first out of the inning. Number 24, Lino Healy up to bat. Lino Healy, first baseman, first pitch. That's in there for a strike. And the 0-1. Healy pops that one up, and that's out of play. Well, you hear a cat meow there? What happened? <laughs> Got somebody. Healy's down 0-2 in the count here. As got a one two or first ball of the inning. Chase Johnston, 25 pitches into this game. Just one run in the first. Yeah, Chase pitching very well to start this game. The 2 2, that one foul back, rip back by Healy. GT, can, can you tell by the way it leaves his hand as to what kind of pitch it is? Are you able to do that? As a fastball. I oh, wish that, I, that was an easy one. I, I, I wish I was. I mean. Really? Um, you don't got it in you? You know what? W w watching a game, um, you know, from the outfield perspective, um, you know, just s standard broadcast view, yeah. um, you can usually tell. But from the, from the press box perspective up here, it's a little tough uh, if you're not used to it. It is a little tough as Healy goes down swinging. It is a little tough as uh, Healy strikes out swinging there for the second out of the inning. And Johnston off to a solid start here in the top second as that will bring up to the plate. Stratch up to the plate. First pitch is a strike. We got number eight, Lance Stratzma. Senior for the Spartans, utility player. Both of these teams, quite a few seniors. Um, Murray just a little younger. Wow, he got him. Johnston got him looking. Strasma goes down, and that'll do it. A one, two, three inning. That looked a little inside. I think Strasma was a little upset with the ump there. But uh, nevertheless, a strikeout for Johnston. And Maple Mountain up 3-1 in command here. Uh, bottom of the second coming up when we return. Stay tuned right here from Orem, Utah. We'll bring it to you right here with KSL Sports. We're back here. Mike Goodkind, Garrett Thompson, Vince France is producing this one for us. We appreciate you tuning in and watching here from Orem, Utah. <laughs> A rainy day here uh, from Orem, Utah. Visual, though, came into this one um, in a tough situation. Bases were juiced, only let up one run. As the first pitch to Thomas is low and away, it'll be a ball. Thomas led off this game with a walk. Later came around and scored. And second pitch, there's a ball. This game's got a little pace to it, GT. He's picking up. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, A.J. Thomas, a junior for... The Golden Eagles batting 429 on the season. Three RBIs. And quite a jump from last season where he hit 320. That one out of play. AJ Thomas just 5'7. Shortstop, junior. Yeah, again, big jump from last year, hitting 320 now into the 400s as he fouls that one back. So we got a 2-2. And Vigil again. Pretty solid first inning. What can he do here in the second? And the 2-2. Uh, 
And it looked like it hit his elbow, yep. and it did. Thomas, two at-bats today, and he will take first both times with a walk. I guess hit by pitch second time, but nonetheless. Yeah, it, it looked like it, it just grazed his arm, but enough to send him to first, Mike. He, he almost stuck that elbow out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It was in the box, you know. Murray fans and Coach Wilson not happy with the umpire behind home plate here, Mike. Uh, but it will bring up to the plate. Max Walker also took first in his first at bat of the game. And that one is low and away. First pitch could be a ball. And what is it about spring baseball? I mean, every time I go to a game that's outside, it's like the coldest day of, of spring for me. Yeah. It is chilly today. It is chilly. We're in the booth up here, kind of warm. We got a headset on. It's not so bad. There's a, there's a yeah, not too bad. You know, you know those games from Lambeau Field? You got Joe Buck calling the game, and they're, they're oh, in jackets. Oh, man. You I, know, below 20. We're not dealing with that here. I don't know how uh, fans in Green Bay deal with that kind of weather and, you know, other places too, Kansas City. Um, that, that playoff game they had against Miami when it was like negative 20 for people yeah. getting frostbite from that yeah. game too. But yeah, I, I did some, somebody, I think there were some, some casualties. There, I, there were some um, extremity casualties for sure. That's tough. I, yeah, I, I, that's, I would not have rough. done well at that game. GT. Yeah. You know oh, me. Oh, absolutely know? not. Winter time, I'm bundled up. You know how I am. Yeah, absolutely. Me too. You know, I, you know, I go to the ski mountain. I, I don't like to, you know, when I head up to Alta, I head up to Snowbird. I don't like to layer up. I'm <laughs> no. not a layer up kind of guy. Uh, no, I feel you. I feel restricted out there. You know? And hell, uh, I mean, I got pants on, wore a light jacket. It's keeping me pretty warm. But, yeah, pretty uh, warm. Could, we got four games to yeah, do. We'll could, see how I feel by uh, 7 o'clock tonight. Should have worn a heavier uh, one. Oh, there, there's Oof. a ripped in the center field. And Walker easily on first with a single. That is going to be single for Max Walker. Advances a runner to second. And again, the Golden Eagles in another great spot here. And Cy Crispin up to the plate. Cy Crispin, first baseman on this team. And Maple Mountain chance here to do some damage. And went high. I got to say, though, GT, just watching this first game alone, the talent level of these 5A kids, I mean, this is a lot better than where I'm from. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, right now. Uh, Not to insult anybody from Westchester County, New York. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, me, uh, me being from uh, Orange County, California, we have a ton of baseball talent, yeah. as you know. But um, uh, up until a little recently, I wasn't really aware of the, you know, talent across, you know, 4A to 6A here in the state of Utah. But uh, we got a lot of great players. And a lot of guys yeah. are going to be doing big things at the next level. Cy Chrisman here leading his team. Oh, and him. Vigil hits him. And he's going to first. Hits him on that left hip, and he will head to the first. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. So we got a HBP situation. No outs. And, again, the bases are loaded again. Yeah, Cy leading his team in several categories here. 512 batting average, 598 OBP, and leading his team on the season with six homers. And Bringhurst up to the plate. Bringhurst 0 for 1 today. But a chance to do some damage here. Again, bases loaded here. Can Vigil get his team out of this one? Bottom of the second. Jamison Vigil a little frustrated on the mound. Kind of saw that with Carrillo as well before he got replaced. But he's thrown some thrown some great pitches. One strikeout. And that one low and inside. Could have been trouble. But I think, you know, honestly, GT, what we've seen today. Uh, Jacob Reese behind the dish doing a good job, you know. Uh, absolutely. Great catcher. Doing what he needs to do for this Spartan squad. But uh, 
I mean, this uh, this Maple Mountain team hits extremely well. So, you know, he's got he's got that to deal with. Visual, that one's in there for a strike right down the pipe, as you would expect. You know, I, I don't understand a lot. Brinkhurst could have swung at that one, GT. You know, you, you know it's going to be a strike. You know it's going to be right in your uh, in your sweet spot. And uh, you know, why not just swing? Yeah, and he's shown a good eye at bat here so far. But um, and he's a great hitter as well. As he walked him. And that's going to score another runner here. Thomas will come home and score. So it's going to be a 4-1 game. Maple Mountain tacking him on here. And, you know, you look at the box score, GT, and it's just two hits each team. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's not like Maple Mountain is, uh, you know, crushing the ball. It's just been a lot of base on balls today. Yep. And the first pitch of the A-B, it's a ball. Lason back up to the plate. He's one for one today. Ball one, a curve ball from Jamison Vigil. Leaves it in a good position here. Bases loaded. That one's in there for a strike. Like we said earlier, Sawyer Leaves in uh, utility player and a right handed pitcher for this Maple Mountain squad. And could have been another wild pitch. But bases loaded. I mean, he's. Not going to risk stealing home. No, not going to risk stealing home, but Jacob Reese again. Great job behind the dish. <laughs> Absolutely. Get in front of that one. Maintaining again just, just a, a three run advantage here. So, Maple Mountain up 4 1, looking to tack on. There's a strike. And that one low and away. So a 3-2. Sawyer Lafeson, a three-sport athlete for Maple Mountain. Baseball, football, and basketball. Lafeson calls, or the ump called time there. I think Lafeson just wanted to... Step out of the box for a second. Is he a three-sport athlete, GT? Um, according to uh, to Max Preps here, and uh, yeah, Vigil's going to walk him. He walked him. That'll bring another run home for, for Maple Mountain. And the Golden Eagles just up 5-1 here. And again, the majority of the runs coming off of walks, GT. Yeah, um, well, I guess at least two runs now coming up. Yeah, not, not a ton of hits from from Maple Mountain, but um, runners are coming home, and again, bases loaded. Murray struggling at the mound so far this game, and um, you hate to see it. And I know conditions don't don't help things at all, but um, hopefully they can uh, pick things up here as we. Uh, Head into the third inning eventually. Catterson. That'll be a strike. Yeah, you know, you were looking at the weather here, GT, get a little better. You see the sun coming in there on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Some beautiful mountains in the distance. As that one is fouled. Out of play. Definitely never get tired of that view. Um, no, this is nice. And I can't wait for tomorrow. We get the sunshine. We're going to have some... Uh, some fresh snow up there. Absolutely. What mountain range? I don't know. I don't know what mountain that is exactly. I don't know. You know. Are we taking a little. I know Wasatch. Wasatch but are we range. Little Cottonwood. Yeah. Yeah. I can't identify the individual mountains except. It's for, not Little Cottonwood. We're past Little Cottonwood. Yeah. yeah past we're well that. past that. As um, out of staters. And we apologize, we apologize if we uh, mispronounce any uh, 
place names here. We we, we <laughs> just might have GT. Just might have. Tim Benogus, I know is I know is correct, but um, Tim Benogus is correct. Catterson goes down swinging. And Johnston up to the plate. Yeah, GT. What a what a spring it's been though here in Utah. Just beautiful weather day after day. No complaints. First first pitch strike for Vigil. Bases loaded again here. Similar situation to the first inning. And yeah, second pitch going to be a ball. One out here for Murray. Again, bases, bases loaded. And that is a little, high. a little high. Umpire not giving him the call right, right there. Two one runners moving. Uh, one's a little inside, a little high. So a three one. You got to expect something close if you're John. If you're if you're Johnston here, pitcher v pitcher. Johnston over one today. And swing and a miss. He got him swinging. Oh, that's just that second strike. That's what that was. Yeah. <laughs> got him swinging. Just straight. Just straight two. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I thought I was paying attention to the strike, too. But, uh, yeah, full count here for, for Vigil now. <laughs> GT, you know, listen, the altitude will get you sometimes. The three <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And there's a there swing and a We manifested that one. Strike three called. And Vigil, much needed K for the second out of the inning. And up to the plate now. Vigil has thrown 44 pitches so far this game. Bennett Averett up to the plate for Maple Mountain. Golden Eagles. First pitch. That one lined in the right and a little drop foul into the bullpen. And if you're just joining us here today, we got four straight games. So uh, we got tons of high school baseball for you all day today. Garrett Thompson, Mike Goodkind, we will be here on the call for you. Hope you join us. And that one lined in the center. And that'll drop in for a base hit. Grisman scores. And so <laughs> does Logan Bringhurst make it a 7-1 lead. And on second base is going to be Averitt. Bennett Averitt, two RBIs there. Fantastic play. So a 7-1 lead for Maple Mountain. And you look on Vigil right now, it's frustration. 7-1 lead, three runs in the first, four here in the second. And uh, a lead by six runs. Okay. Colby Warren up to, the, up to the dish here. 0 for 1 in his first. And the first pitch is a ball. Six one senior with a very solid on base percentage. And a three fourteen batting average. A two one two one count here for Vigil. And he's just looking to close out this inning and uh, stop the ble stop the bleeding for uh, for his team here, Mike. Yeah, it's not been um, an ideal inning for the Spartans in the first game of bracket play, five A baseball. But um, can they do? Can they stop the bleeding? That one lined in a center field. And second baseman's there for the third out of the inning. So Warren goes down. An easy routine play. For the second baseman, Cooper Wilson. And that'll do it for the second. 7-1 lead, Maple Mountain. Playing right here. Top three coming up next. 
And we are back here on the broadcast. My good kind, GT Garrett Thompson. On an overcast day here in Orem, Utah. But a beautiful day. It's Honestly, I'm, I'm happy to be up here in the booth. Absolutely. That's what we're going to miss. Just a little chilly, but uh, mountains look gorgeous. Um, I, I'm telling you, whether you're like up at the U, um, down at Smith's Ballpark, or you know down here, at, down here at UVU or BYU, just a great view to play baseball. It's just fantastic. It really is. Um, yeah, the it U. It really is. And you know, we we got a beautiful view from the apartment building we live at. We got some and, mountains in the distance. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, down here is next level. GT. That one lined into center field, and that'll drop for a base hit. Fleming. On first. And Murray. See if they can make some noise here. So Fleming with a base hit. Bennett Averett there had a chance to make a play. Uh, kind of let that one drop right in front of him. But Yeah, tough ball. Um, Chase Fleming, great contact. And got a runner on first for the Spartans. Runner on first up to the plate, Jacob Reese. And we're back to the leadoff man, Jacob Reese. Behind the dish today doing a great job. That one inside. Jacob Reese, phenomenal catcher for this Murray squad. As Chase Johnston throws to Cy at first. Checking on the batter. Runner, excuse me. Johnston, 40 pitches into this game, though, and fell. 40 pitches into this game, GT. 5A baseball, though. These kids are good. We were talking about it earlier. Um, in a state like Utah, it seems like every sport, you got tons of kids that are just phenomenal athletes. We, we called a lot of... High school basketball this year, GT, and we saw tons of talent, too, on that end. Absolutely. Um, you know, whether it be um, club basketball with um, Utah prospects competing in three-stripe select, um, you know, there are a couple of really good football teams and, of course, um, you know, some great baseball teams here in the state. I mean, high school sports just keep getting better and better year over year here in Utah um, as the state grows and, and flourishes. Yeah, I mean, the NHL we, now in the state and... Just where is it going to end, GT? Is it I, gonna continue to I, hope, I hope it keeps growing. Uh, it's been phenomenal to watch. I've been living in this wonderful state for seven years, and I plan to stay uh, for the next seven. Would have to have a pretty compelling reason to leave, to be honest with you. But, I, uh, I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. I, I, it steals your heart. It, it, your it heart. does. I, I love living like here. Like a 1980s rom-com, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. Yes. What's going on with this place? Speaking of rom-coms and sitcoms, you gonna you gonna make that show or? What's We're making a that? show. We're making a show. I, mean, I, I, I would tell the viewers, but they get bored by that one. Fell back. Uh, we are we are we're we're making a sitcom. We're, we're in the works on it. Yeah. My cat Yanni is gonna be in it. Yeah, he is. Yanni and Bonnet. Bonnet, yeah, she's cool. But you know, it's not obviously not actually them. So we got uh, you know, exactly. Gonna have a puppet. <laughs> Come up with some characters for <laughs> so, it. I got, we got a lot of characters. You're gonna be in a GT. You know that. You're oh, a big part of the show. I, I hope so. Yeah. I'll foul back. So we got a full count here. Jacob Reese still at the plate, and Chase Johnston. On his 46th pitch. Got to be tired, GT. That one oh. lined Ooh. right to short. And that'll be a double play. Double play. Beautifully done and executed. That was a beautiful play by the shortstop, Kaysen Blecker. As it was lined right to him. And he caught Fleming just a little too far off the bag. As I think Fleming thought it was going to be a base hit headed towards second. And uh, throw to first was perfect. Jacob. Um, as Lino Healy was there. So here we go. Uh, now to the plate. It's going to be Blecker. And that one lined to right. For a base hit. A great play there. By the shortstop, number 13, Sawyer Leifson. 
We got we got it, we got it mixed up, Mike. But uh, I did we're, get we're it mixed up for a Not, second there. All, all good. I did completely get it mixed up. Claire <laughs> Lason, great play. Phenomenal catch there. That one line to the high corner. Ground and Wilson goes down. Ground out to third. 60, on a, yeah, on a 5-3 ground. That'll do it for the inning. Sawyer Lason got his name mixed up. What are we doing? We'll be back. <laughs> uh, great stuff here from UVU. Stay tuned.
And we're back here from Orem, Utah. 5A bracket play. Maple Mountain a commanding 8-1 lead here in the top of the fourth inning. Got number 13, Easton Floyd, up to bat. Can they tack on a couple more runs here, GT? You Easton so. Floyd. You hope so. Um, saw them huddle up outside the dugout um, at the end of the third inning. And, um, you know, still got their heads held high. I mean, game is far from over. And um, still got a chance here. Johnston got him looking. That one fouled down the first base side. Yeah, Johnston on pitch 53 here. Or as Jamison Vigil, almost 70 pitches, Mike, after they took out Diego Carrillo. There's got to be, I mean, got to be at least, how many pitches do you think today for, for Murray? Um, we'd, we'd have to tally up that total, but, um, I mean, 100 and change maybe? Got to be. Got to be. 100, 100, yeah. yeah, but it's fa fast-paced baseball. Yeah. Oh, and he Ooh. hits him. Johnston hits Floyd, and Floyd will take his base. As a good way to start the inning here for the Spartans. That Down 8-1. Be that bean's got to hurt. <laughs> that did not look like it felt good. Yeah. Up here at the booth, I would oh, probably yeah. not enjoy that, honestly. No, sir cold day like this too it's not fun Ooh, yeah hit the leg though better to hit the leg than the arm i guess depending on where you get hit but uh depending on where you hit yeah number Bru number eight the big man sam brusso up to bat right now right now he is designated hitter but uh also a right-handed pitcher and a first baseman for the Spartans. We're so 0 2 in the count here. And Johnson deals a ball high. Johnson, a heck of a day for him. Just a one earned run today. And it was all in that first inning where uh, Murray had the bats hot. And almost like they just lost it here. You know, kind of starting in that second inning. I think they were down 3-1 and have not been able to recover since. Yeah, absolutely. And with Maple Mountain, you know, pitching and fielding as well as they are. And that one lined deep to left field. Could go. No, it's off Ooh. the wall. And that'll be a double for Sam Brousseau, the big man. Thought it was gone. Thought it was out of here. <laughs> yeah, big man with a big hit. Advances Easton Floyd. And we got runners on second and third here. So Easton Floyd moves to third. Phenomenal and contact here. And it looks like we got uh, head coach for Maple Mountain coming up to the mound. It is Jeremy Thomas. Colby Warren played that ball really well, GT. You Absolutely. Know, off the wall, line there to the left. and It's a tough situation to be in. Yeah. Uh, but he did play that really well. He did, yeah. So they'll talk it over. The rest of the infield squad out there as well. And... Um, yeah, I mean... Chase Johnston is still pitching well. Um, great, great hit by Brousseau, but this Maple Mountain squad is still in very solid shape here at the top of the fourth inning. Two runners in scoring. Ooh. And that one line. Oh, what oh. a play. What a play. Beautiful catch there. As Carrillo just got robbed of a base hit. Phenomenal play there by number 22, Bennett Averett. Averett, a sliding play in center oh. field, GT. Came out of nowhere with that. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a base hit, but um, 
Yeah, phenomenal play there. Bennett Averett, what a beautiful play. Saving two runs. That's playoff baseball here in Utah at its finest. Bennett Averett making his campaign for that Utah team. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> when they come to town, now in line to the center, can Averett make another play? And he, he does. Will end the, uh, for the second out of the inning. Ooh. But Floyd tags and scores. There we go. For the second run for Murray, you'll take it. Make it 8 2. See, they make a little comeback here. So Floyd scores from third. It's a great throw again by Averett. Yeah, two down for the Golden Eagles. And we have number eight. Lance Strasp up to the plate. And that was a little high. There. Yeah, two number eights got a little confused on the on the sheet here, but uh, yeah, we got number eight Sam Brusso at second and La Lance Stratzma, number eight at the plate. There's a strike. Yeah, one one count here for Johnston as he is coming up on 64 pitches here on the game. He's play, playing a heck of a game. Oh, foul back, but he has been playing great. Johnston, 64 pitches. Just two earned orange for the guys. He's been playing some great baseball and really pitching a heck of a game. Oh, weather considered here. And that pitch lined to right. And Warren is there for the third out of the inning. So Maple Mountain finds themselves out of a hole again. Just one run in this one. Run runner stranded in an A2 game. We'll be back here. For the bottom of the fourth, uh, coming up after this, Mike Kukai, Garrett, Tom uh, Garrett Thompson, GT from Utah Valley University. Stay tuned. 5 a base baseball bracket play up next. Access the equity in your... And we are back here to start the inning. Mike Kukai, Garrett Thompson. As the first play of the inning was popped to right and a routine fly ball. And Braden Catterson. Catterson retired for the first out of the inning. Carrillo makes the play. As the pitcher chased Johnston up to the plate. Jameson Vigil still on the mound for the Murray Spartans. 5'11 senior has pitched 73 balls this game so far, Mike. Johnston fouls that one. 73 balls. Johnston fouls that one. Vigil, though, yeah, he's got to be tired. Gene. Yeah, that, you know, that arm's got to be tired. Got to be exhausted. Johnston 0 for 2 on the day. That one a little high. Here's the thing, though. You know, if you're at this game... You know, you're just watching on just watching on your screen here. You're not really seeing how hard these guys are throwing. As that fastball high and away, it's me a three two count. Yeah. But but these guys throw hard, GT. I mean yeah. I, I I couldn't hit hit 'em. Not sure if you could hit 'em. <laughs> no uh, chance. I'm hitting one of those. Um but uh yeah, wish we had him on the gun. But um yeah, I mean another fastball there from Vigil. A curveball, excuse me. And throwing mostly fastballs and change-ups on the mound. Mixing a couple curves here and there. A couple curves, yep. And the payoff, that one lined in the left. That'll be foul. Johnson, though, just a great job on the hill today for Maple Mountain. As I'm getting cold here in the booth, GT. Oh, me too, man. A little, little nippy up here. Not going to lie to you. And he walked him. So Vigil walks Johnston. And now up to the plate. 
for Maple Mountain. It's going to be Bennett Averett. Made a great play last inning in the field. Here he's up to the plate. Averett one for two today at the dish. And Giles will take over at first for Johnston. Does that mean he's coming into the game, I guess? Looks like it. Averett made a couple great plays in the outfield last. He did. He pops that one up. Last inning, Healy chases it down. He'll go out of play. And, folks, if you're just joining us, this is not the first game we're doing today. we got four games here today, tons of high school baseball, 5A bracket play. Uh, be here to join us for it. Mike Goodkind and GT Garrett Thompson in the booth here. Calling them, all four of them. Not sure how we're going to feel after game four. As the runner will take off. And he is safe at second. Giles still second. Wilson did a good job there. So as he was stealing that base, Mike, um, I think, I think Jamison Vigil, um, you know, didn't didn't realize exactly what was going on. But those reflexes, he ducked down immediately. Yeah, Reese has a gun on him. He he does. Reese has a gun on him, and it was a great throw. Great throw by the catcher, absolutely. As Averett Ooh. is safe at first. He is not tagged out Healy. by Healy. Couldn't get him. Healy made a nice little play there, and Averett just outran him to first. So that will move Giles over to third. And that was tough for Healy with the throw. He couldn't really stay on the bag. Tough throw from the, from the shortstop. And, um, yeah, runner is safe at first. We got number 11 up to bat, Colby Warren. One for two on the day. And that was a dual pickoff attempt for Vigil as he first looked at Giles at third and then turned and tried to get Averitt. Warren up to the plate here. Runners on the corners. Uh, that one is low and inside. It's going to be a ball. Kobe Warren with a 412 on base percentage and 279 batting average on the season. You, and, you know, GT, you look at the jumps of these guys. You know, he, he was hitting 263 last season, 314 this. And a lot of these guys, some major improvements. At, absolutely. And Jumping up, you know. 46 hits and 32 RBIs as well. This um, this Maple Mountain team hits very well. And see, like you said, Mike, seeing a lot of improvement from their rosters year over year. And Strike in there. So 2-1 count here. That was pitch number 83 for Jamison Vigil. Vigil's getting up there, GT. I wonder where... If he gets pulled, and you know, is he going to hit the century mark? As another pickoff attempt, Ooh. and wow, Whoa. somehow manages to get Avery oh. in at first. No, he's safe, and Giles scores from third. Jamison Vigil, incredibly frustrated with that play, could not get the runner that was trying to advance from first to second. Ended up going back to first, and meanwhile, runner scores at home. Wow. So it is now 9-2. Nine nine two. Two. And, and I think Maple Mountain GT, they know about this mercy rule. I mean, you got to, you know, they're saying, hey, we can get out of here, you know, take a day's rest, go 1-0 in the win column for the tournament. I mean. And bracket play. Uh, yeah. Move on in tomorrow and get out of here with a W. Yeah. I, I mean, be tough for Murray, um, but it would save Maple Runner Mountain goes. a couple innings. And Averett. Sliding in safely to second. Throw from Reese. Not in time. And another stolen base here for the Golden Eagles. Again, they're, they're playing very aggressively offensively here in the bottom of the fourth. They got an eight. They got a seven-run lead. Again, like I said, they're, they're trying to take this bottom five and just, you know, head it in tomorrow, I think. And Warren chops that one and foul.
Bennett Averett making plays in the outfield and uh, base to base. <laughs> he this, is. This game. He is. Solid hits. And, um, yeah, stolen base for the 6 1 senior. The 3 2, that one fouled out of play. Only one out here. The bottom of the fourth here. And tough, um, tough game for the Spartans. But playing hard, giving it their all. Warren. Uh, that one goes foul. And like no one warming up in the bullpen for the Spartans. So you got to think that um, Vigil's going to close out this game. Yeah, yeah. 88, nine pitches in. That one popped up. Healy is there. He will make the play. And that will be the second out of the inning. Bottom four. 9-2 lead for Maple Mountain. And those first two innings were just really tough for Murray. He gave up seven runs in the first two. Um, I almost think it took took some of the wind out of their sail a little bit as, again, they led the game off up one nothing, had a chance to tack on some more runs. Um, in some ways got robbed of doing so in that first and since then haven't been able to come back. That one line is second. Floyd is there and throws on a first. Healy makes the play for the third out of the inning. So one run stranded, one run scored. And Maple, Ma Maple Mountain leading 9-2. We are back here, live from UVU. My good kind, Garrett Thompson. We got senior Chase Fleming up to bat here as we start the fifth inning. Pitching Lason now into the game. For Maple Mountain. As Johnson gets a break. Johnson, what, what a heck of a game for him. Just two runs and he got up there in, in the pitch count too. Yeah, absolutely. He's played phenomenally. Now in line to short. Hyde is there mm -hmm. to make the play. And just, again, great defense by this Maple Mountain team as Murray has just been having a tough go at it today. Yeah, number two, Hayden Hyatt at shortstop now. Uh, great play, great throw to first. And that'll bring Reese up to the plate. First pitch strike. Lafson, the 0 1. Now Lafson on the mound, and we got Johnston at first now. Curious to see how well he's going to close out this game. Um, good start, obviously. Yeah, that one popped up. And left fielder. Walker is there for the second out of the inning. Wow. All right. So, again, no matter who they're bringing in to pitch, no matter uh, what's going on, just defensively, Murray's been tough. Yeah. A couple of plays we've seen today. It has been tough for the Spartans as that pitch is thrown inside by Lafson. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you got to give it to this Maple Mountain team. They, they are solid. Um, they, they, they are solid. Both teams have been solid all season. Um, and the 2-0. That one line Maple back. Mountain, the favorite here, the two-seat in bracket play. Murray, the seventh seed. You got to think Maple Mountain might be here on Saturday to win it all. That one, low and in. I would not be surprised. I will not be here, unfortunately. I will be in Temecula, California, the family for Memorial Day. But 
It's a good spot to be. Absolutely. He'll take it. Southern California wine country. Can't beat it. Hopefully it's sunny. <laughs> but uh, Mike will be here. I would bet on it as Blecker walks. Yeah. I would bet on it, GT. Yeah. You know, you know, talking probably some June gloom in the morning with <laughs> May Gray. Uh, some marine uh, layer. But. Yeah. Yeah. A little, a little marine layer, but uh, I don't mind a cloudy, cool morning. Going to run before it gets too hot. You, you like that run in the marine layer? It is nice. You said that. Nice run or a nice hike. Yeah. Wilson up to the plate. He's one for two today. Cooper Wilson, senior, 6'2". Plays in the infield for this Murray squad. Um, also a right-handed pitcher. And um, another senior. And the 2-0. There's in there for a strike. Cold day here for the fans in Orem. Damn cold day overall here in Utah, but uh, those mountains are looking stellar, GT. We've talked about it. Talk about it again. <laughs> yeah. Those mountains are looking nice. Not gonna lie you to never you. get tired of that view. No, you can't. S saw some uh, hot chocolate at the, con at the concession stand. Oh, yeah. I yeah. will you gonna, be, you're gonna indulge a little uh, hot be, chocolate? Or? I will be partaking. Absolutely. Really? Can't remember wow. the last time I had hot chocolate, but oh, yeah. If they got hot coffee, I will also be partaking. <laughs> wow, all right. You're going to be able to caffeinate it up here. Oh, yeah. I okay. only had one cup this morning. No, uh, no time for breakfast, but very happy to be out here watching some exciting high school baseball. It's great. Great day to be here. That one popped up by Wilson. Um, an easy routine play for Aver, or he makes it look so. And that'll do it for the inning. One runner stranded. Maple Mountain again coming here into the bottom of the fifth, trying to close this one out up 9-2. to two. Stay tuned. We'll have it for you here with KSL Sports. We're back here on the show by good kind Garrett Thompson. Bottom of the fifth inning here. And leading off is could be Max Walker for Maple Mountain here. Again, three runs they win this game here in the inning, GT. As Vigil still on the hill for Murray. We were talking, though, GT. You were saying that uh, suntan, well, this is during the break. And GT seems to think that a suntan makes you, you really think so? It makes you more warm throughout the day? I don't know. I, don't know if I, believe I, think I, feel, I, I always feel just a little bit warmer a few days after getting some sun. Obviously, it depends on how much time you spend out there. But if you get, like, a good amount of sun exposure, I don't know. Feel feel a little bit warmer. You think so? Could, could just be the weather, too. I, <laughs> might just be one of my delusions. But, uh and the 2-2. Two -two. Oh, foul. Yeah, warming up a, a tad. Going to be a high of 61. So. Not so bad. It's yeah. not, you know, it's not uh, the winter here in Utah. Yeah. That one lined. Routine player. He makes it look at it like it is. And Healy makes the play at first. And first out of the inning. Nice play, though, at third from Easton Floyd again as Cy Chrisma is up to the plate for Maple Mountain here. That one. Chrisman, big hitter. Line center. Chrisma got a handle on that one. Center fielder is there, though, to make the play. Nice play there in center by Bodie Gladhart. Number 18 up to the plate, Logan Bringhurst. <laughs> Bottom of the fifth here. Vigil deals, and that'll be uh, ball outside. And the 2-0. That one, line back, foul. So, two down. 
the bottom of this fifth inning. Solid, solid defense by the Spartans. Bring Hurst lines that one out of play. <laughs> and uh, Mike and I here are waiting for the game cast to adjust. It's not adjusting for us, GT. Yeah. It's a little frustrating. <laughs> He's trying to give you the most accurate and up-to-date uh, information in, in live stats. Um, happens sometimes, though. Hopefully it'll refresh here in just a second. As Bringhurst lines that one foul. 3-2, two, two down here. And with two out. And the 3-2. Vigil deals that one line back. Oh, that could have been tough. If the netting wasn't there, GT. Yeah. I think our friend Vince would have gotten the worst of that one. <laughs> I uh, went to a baseball game in Japan when I was there last month. Yeah. And every time there's a fly ball into the stands, this alarm sound goes off. Oh, really? Yeah. Why is that? He walked him, by the way. Why is that, GT? Wait, there's uh, an just, alarm just, sound. Just to warn the fans, they also have this. Uh, I was at a uh, Tokyo Yakult Swallows game. Swallows versus the Tokyo Giants. And um, there was a really cool seventh inning stretch, like umbrella ceremony too. Uh, I'll show you a couple of videos later, but it was it was awesome. Man, yeah. You know, may, maybe we could show it on the broadcast. You know, who knows? Right. Maybe, but um, that, you know, an umbrella <laughs> ceremony. I'm in. It's I'm yeah. in for an umbrella ceremony. It was the most exciting baseball game I've ever been to. Really, I grew up going to Angels games and just absolutely loving the Angels. And uh, ooh. that one lined in the center field. That'll drop for a base hit. Line drive there for Sawyer Leifson. Bringhurst running second, headed for third, and Layson's on first, safely with a stand-up single. And uh, stand-up single, I don't know if that really exists, but I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got runners on the corners here. Yeah, during those games, Mike, they got bands playing. Um, when your team is up to bat, you are cheering nonstop. Really? Yep. Stadium was packed, and the stadium was pretty old. Um Shinju Jeku Stadium, I think it was, in Shinjuku, Tokyo. And Babe Ruth played there in the late 20s, early 30s. Wow. So, yeah. But, yeah, Japan is huge in – or, sorry, t baseball is huge in Japan. They love their baseball. And – Babe Ruth played there. He did. He did play there. Post-Major League Baseball. Um, yeah, might, might have been while he was still in the league. Really? Not sure, yeah. Would have been in the 20s. Maybe early 30s, but probably the 20s. And this is a conversation we, we continue to have, but um, just ballpark-wise, how many fans are in that ballpark? Um, that had to have been between 10 and, 10 and 12,000. Older stadium, not as many seats. Probably about 10K. Okay. Yeah. So it's not 40,000, you know, like Chavez Ravine, Dodger Stadium, you know, 40. Oh, uh, yeah, you're not, you're not fitting that many people in there. But no, uh, okay. it, was, it was packed. Small small stadium, but very popular team, and it was it was packed. Wow. Who would have known, man? I, I would love to go. Oh, dude, you can't recommend it enough. What's your uh, favorite ballpark in the league? That one, low and outside. Uh, it's behind the dish. He's been making great plays all day long, GT. Okay. We've been talking about him. Absolutely. Reese making final plays as Catterson's up to bat. <sighs> It'd be hard for me to pick any stadium other than Angel Stadium, but I got to say Come on, GT. Oracle, Oracle, where the Giants play. Yeah. That is beautiful. It is. You got him looking, by the way. That'll do it nice, for the inning. Nice strikeout there from. Uh, Much needed by Vigil. Vigil gets some, gets some swing, and that'll do it for the inning. Two runners stranded. No run scored. Nine to two game. Maple Mountain trying to close this one out. Bracket play coming up next. We're back live here for more of Utah. Murray, Maple Mountain. Game one of four today. And Murray's had a tough go out at GT. Two runs in the game, four errors. Has not been a great outing. How do you look at this moving forward in this game? Yeah, um, double elimination, so they, you know, obviously still have a chance. But, um... You know, they just got to keep their heads held high. They've had a great season so far. They know they can they can win in this tournament. So um, just going to take a few adjustments um, at the mound, tighten up infield play, and um, some. As Floyd grounds that to Chris, he makes the play, throws on a first. Johnson's there for the second out of the inning. First out of the inning. 
Yeah, the scoreboard wrong up there. Maple Mountain. Again, just pretty much three runs away if they want to close this thing out prior to the seventh. If they can do it bottom six, that'll do it. For so up to the plate here, and that's a strike. Top six. Leeson. And there's a strike. Throwing to designated hitter number eight, Sam Brousseau. One for two on the got game. He, got him swinging that time, GT. And Another K. One for, for three. Leeson. Leeson's had a great day on the hill today. Came in for Johnston, who moved over to first base. And Johnston, great outing. And it's been no turning back as Lason just riding the coattails of Johnston, but picking up right where we left off. Uh, but nothing but great pitching here. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. This Maple Mountain team has been playing phenomenal baseball. As Diego Carrillo, pitcher for the Murray Spartans, is up to bat. He is 0 for 2 on the day. Just been a tough day. At the batter's box for the Spartans. Carrillo chops that to third. And a Ooh. nice play by Chrisman, and that'll do it for the inning. Three down, three out. Three down, three up. We head to the top. No, the bottom of the sixth inning. Up next, after this. Eight games with you? Eight or, yeah, eight or nine. Eight. We're back here on the show. GT, Mike Cook, Kai Garrett, Tops, GT, yeah, you did cover how many games, how many basketball games did we do? Did we do? Um, I think it was eight. Might have been nine, but um, yeah, I think I covered eight games with you. Um, got some great views. We had one game where 9,800 people tuned into the stream. That was awesome. That was nuts. What was that? Was that? Uh... That was uh, that was Bingham and Copper Canyon, I think. Copper Canyon. Might have been. That, that was up north. That was uh, the day we had that. Uh... That would have been down south. No. Think so? Copper Hills. Copper Hills. Copper Hills. We did a game, though, um, up north. I don't know. Maybe maybe it didn't do as well as we think. Okay, anyway, there's been a pitching change. Gladhart now on the hill for Murray as Jake Rocher on up to bat. Rocher up to the dish. First A-B of the day. Gladhart deals. Man, that one's outside. Yeah, like you said, first at bat for Rocher. Senior for this squad and um, batting 355 on the year. And that's a drop third strike. Rocher will head to first, but no problem for Reese as he throws on a Healy for the first out of the inning. GT, you got to give a lot of credit, though, to our man, Vince Francis. Look at that scoreboard, man. It's a nasty scoreboard. <laughs> it looks it looks phenomenal. I mean, that lo it looks like a like a high level professional. It really like does. ESPN and then you, you see when the numbers like change, right? Yeah. Yeah. You see, like right here with the ball strike. Look at the ball strike counter. Look at that. Look, look how it changes. Look how that was nice and the, the dissolve <laughs> on that. It's a nice dissolve on the number when it changes. I gotta say. And you're getting that right here on KSL Sports. You really are. Great great spot to be today. That one inside. Aver it up to the dish. But uh, GT and I were talking. We had, we had one heck of a winner, didn't we? We traveled all around the state, watched a lot of great high-level high school basketball. There's a strike to Aver it for the second. To me, a one-two count. But yeah, we just had a lot, a lot of fun this winter. <clears throat> it was phenomenal. And it looks like we're going to have a great, uh, great spring here covering some games. Also, um, the Marshall League here on KSL Sports 2. It's uh, basically the Cape Cod League of... Utah, KSL Sports will have all those games for you. It's nonstop action. Great baseball, basketball, football, and a handful of other sports that are being covered as well. And that one chopped to short. Beck Blecker is there. And throws on a first for there. the second out of the inning. 
Very solid start for number one, Bodie Gladhart. Bodie, uh, lefty pitcher for this squad. Also plays out in the outfield. And uh, nine pitches so far. And hasn't allowed any hits. No hits. No hits. Two outs. Two up, two down. Guy's perfect. Yep, so far. <laughs> Guy's perfect. There's a strike. Up to the plate right now, Colby Warren. He's been 0 for 3 today. Tough outing for him, but in the field he's had a good day. The 0-1, that one outside. Bodie, a junior for this squad. Um, looks like they're going to have quite a few players return next season. Um... They're going to be losing Carrillo, Healy, and Reese, but... As Warren chops that to short, and routine play for Blecker, his second of the inning, and that'll do it. As we will head to the top of the seventh, and Maple, Maple Mountain a chance to close this one out. As playoff baseball here in 5A, game one, coming to a close here, top seven coming up next. Let's see if Murray can uh, get their bats going right here. Stay tuned. And we're back here. Chance for Maple, Maple Mountain to close this one out. Been a tough outing for Murray in the first game of bracket play from Orem, Utah. And pitching to close this one out is going to be Mr. Carter. Blake Carter, number four from Maple Mountain. As he pitches to Healy. Healy lines that one a third. And Crispin makes the play. Phenomenal play there at third base for Cy Crisman. Arguably the ble argu arguably the best player on this uh, Maple Mountain squad. And we got to give a shout out here. A few people watching us. Uh, we got uh, your dad, Mr. Thompson, David Thompson, watching us here from uh, SoCal. Orange County, we appreciate you tuning in, man. You are a legend. We had a great conversation with you on the phone earlier, and uh, thanks for watching. Also, shout out to my two dogs, Cooper and Cash. I'm sure they're watching mm -hmm. this game with him as well. Are they really watching, GT? Are well, you sure they're watching the game? Yeah. Well, my dog, Cooper, uh, he's got one eye now, but he's doing great. Yeah, okay. Had a little accident. Yeah. But Cyclops. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, yeah. Made, he's made quite the adjustment. He's... Adjusting very well with just one eye, and he's still a still a happy little guy. So, Strats up to the dish for Murray, and swing and a miss. That'll do it. He goes down swinging. Carter gets him on his fifth pitch of the game, and that'll be two down and one more to go for Maple Mountain to move to one and zero oh here in bracket play, and just three strikes away or one out to the plate now when you have a lead like this um, especially in, you know obviously a two-out situation here um, top of the seventh as that one fouls out um, you get you get to give your relief pitchers um, uh, a chance to you know a chance at the mound and I think it's uh, you know it's great I mean in, in a tighter game you're gonna you're gonna want to have uh, a starter out there or you know someone who spends more time out there on the mound but um yeah i mean they've rotated through a few guys out there yeah and it's yeah. they've all been playing pretty well i've been i've been pitching pitching pretty solidly today they have been um starting uh, starting the game though today um uh, as carter deals and that one is gonna be outside to me a 3-1 to the right fielder and there's a strike three two but Johnson started this game, and he just did phenomenal. He did. He played a great game. 3-2, payoff, and... Full count here. What happened? What, oh, the, not, two that, That's ball three. There you go, yeah. <laughs> that was three-two. There's the three-two. Make the adjustment. And swing and a miss. That'll do it. Carter gets him swinging, and Maple Mountain closes this one out as we're final. A 9-2 win for Maple Mountain in game one of bracket play, 5A baseball here from Orem, Utah. And just great all-around play, GT. Absolutely. Phenomenal showing um, at the mound and um, at home plate for, for the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles. 
Um, Murray, again, a great team. They've had a great season, and they still got a chance in this tournament. But, um, you know, tough game. Uh, didn't go their way. A couple unforced errors out there in the infield and the outfield. But, um, you know, they will, they will keep their heads held high and, you know, move on in this tournament as, uh, as the week continues. We got a lot of games here today, GT. Started with Murray Maple Mountain. Up next, we're going to have Box Elder and Salem Hills. So 14 versus 6. And we got Cypress and Brighton. We got Orem and Springville. So uh, we got a heck of a day ahead of us. Absolutely. We're just getting started. Honestly, I'm happy to be here. Two hours in, and I'm ready for six more hours of baseball. <laughs> me, me too, Mike. I'm, I'm fired up and ready to go. We're going to close off here today uh, as Maple Mountain wins this one 9 2. We'll see you for game two up here next with KSL Sports. Appreciate you watching game one. And uh, from a rainy day here in Orem, Mike Goodkind and GT signing off for now for the next 15-some-odd minutes. We'll be back here soon. Stay tuned.